Hello fourth graders, welcome back to art class. Today we're going to be starting our origami unit with fortune tellers. So the only thing you need for this activity is a pair of scissors, a marker, something to write with, like maybe a colored pencil, and then just paper. You can use any color you like, but today I think I'm going to do white just because it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, I want you guys all to be able to make your own fortune teller. And I want you to maybe teach it to a friend or someone in your family. You're going to start off with your paper in front of you just vertically. So we want this side of the paper to line up with this side of the paper. So we're going to take this corner and bring it over to this side. And once they're matched up with each other, just crease it. And then hopefully... This corner will be a pointy corner. Okay, so once you have this, you can see that there's a line right here. So this is where we're gonna take our scissors and be very careful with these. We're gonna take our scissors and cut along this line where the paper folds. And try to make it as straight as possible because we want our paper to be a perfect square. So just neatly cut that part off. Okay, so then we're going to unfold it, and just like how we folded these corners together, we are going to match them up so that there is another crease in the paper. So you should have, when you unfold it, you should have something that looks like an X. Two folds across the paper. Okay. okay, so where the two folds meet, they should meet right in the middle where they intersect. It's probably hard to see right now, but you will see it on your own paper. So you're gonna take each corner and fold it so that it touches the middle. And do this to each corner so that they all meet in the middle. Okay, so when you're done doing this, you should now have an even smaller square Okay, so when you are at this point, we're going to take the paper and flip it over. And we're kind of just going to do the same thing. So there's another, you can see where the middle is because the folds intersect with each other. Take each corner and fold it to meet the middle. This should give you an even smaller square. Okay. Okay, is everyone following along? Do we have any questions? Okay, good. Okay, so next we have our little square right here and the folds are pointed towards the ceiling. We're gonna then fold this in half like this. Did everyone get that? Okay, good. So you're gonna fold it in half like this. So you should have something that looks like this. So this part is always tricky. What you're gonna do, you see how these come out. You're gonna take your thumb and your pointer finger, put them in there like that, and do the same with the other hand. It's a little tricky, but so we did that. And now you have your fortune teller. So now I'm gonna show you what to write on it. Okay. So you guys can do this however you like um, in your own way, but I'm just gonna show you the way I always do it. So with these four flaps right here, you're gonna write um, any four numbers that you choose. So I'm going to write seven, three, five, and six. Okay, so then you're going to flip it over and you're gonna have these. So this part is a little tricky. I'm going to do colors and animals. So for my colors, I'm going to write the colors on these four. These two flaps right here. So I'll write blue, yellow, red, and green. So then for the remaining flaps, I'm going to do animals. So let's say cat, dog, mouse, and snake. 
Okay. Okay, so after we have our colors, animals, and numbers, we're going to unfold it right here. And these triangles that are facing upwards, this is where we write our fortunes. So I'm going to write for my fortunes, let's say, you will win the lottery. You will have your dream job. Um, you will become famous and you will have a lot of pets. Okay, so now we're actually going to do the fortune telling. So we're going to refold it. And remember how you put your fingers in here. So this is how you tell someone's fortune. So you're going to have them pick one of the numbers that they see. So three, seven, or five, or six. Let's do three. So we're going to do one, two, three. Now we have animals. Snake, mouse, dog, or cat. Let's choose cat. So we're going to spell it. So C-A-T. Now we have different colors. So let's choose the color red. So this is where we pick our fortune. So red is right here. So we're gonna open the flap that says red and it says you will have your dream job. So that is how you tell someone's fortune. It looks like I will have my dream job. Okay. Okay, so I now want you all to turn to your partner and do your fortune teller on them. And your exit ticket for today is to show me your fortune teller and then read me my fortune and then you are free to go. Okay, so I hope you guys have fun making these and that hopefully you will show your friends or family when you get home.